first time Tennessee's rushed for over 100 yards against Alabama since 2015, and you almost got there yourself. I mean, just what was the key to having that kind of success in the past? Uh, I feel like the preparation at practice and the offensive line, uh, them just gaining confidence and doing what they do. What's been the key to you, you know, getting, up, getting so many more snaps than you were three or four weeks ago? What have you done in practice with the uh, I just keep uh, consistency. Practice hard every day and just keep my head down grinding. Tim, can you take us to that play where the offensive line pushed you? You kept going and got like 12 yards on the play. <laughs> Yeah, that play, that play was really exciting. That, that brought like a lot of energy. That was fun for the linemen too. That brought like intensity to the game. And that, I think that game, that that one play itself, brought a lot of confidence into our line. And the nucleus, can you tell you're moving in the right direction? Yeah, I knew I knew I was moving the right direction. <laughs> I felt it. Did y'all see? I'm sure y'all watched a lot of film. Did y'all seen anybody do that to Alabama while watching film? Um, Anything like that? I mean, watching film, we did see a lot of different things that we could do against them, but. Just like I said, just coming in and practicing and focusing on our game plan and seeing what we could do against them. Did you see anybody pushing the pile against them, though? I mean, y'all, y'all <laughs> nah, I didn't see that. Do you feel like you only deserve four yards for that carry in the offensive line? You said it seven. Yeah, the offensive line deserved the whole, the whole, the whole yard, the whole nine yards. <laughs> Tim, is anybody, is anybody saying anything on a play like that? Uh huh? Like in the, in the pile? In the pile? No, I can't. I can't hear it. But after the after the play, just coming back, looking at the linemen, looking at the excitement on their face, I knew, I knew it was like a play that they really like brought confidence to them within themselves. Tim, you, just, you got that one yard rushing against Alabama in Ravens Georgia State. So, I mean, what can, can you feel the line? I mean, have you seen them getting better? I mean, as they kept more consistent, that oh, they used to play together. Most definitely, every day they come. They come to practice every day, like just like everybody. Make um. Fix mistakes, corrections, and develop every day through practice. And just when you, when you played as a freshman, how much do you think it is just Wanye and, and Darnell getting getting used to what it takes to, to play at this level? Yeah, I think I think they're at practice. They get more comfortable as they're as the year go on, more experienced, and they're just just keep as they keep playing. It is just keep coming on along. Tim, you said consistency is kind of what has positioned you. Your consistency in practice is what given you, the, you know, the, the opportunities on Saturdays. Now, was that lacking early in the season, or do you think you have kind of turned the corner to really catch David Johnson and Pruitt's eye? Uh, I think it's, it's been the same. I, I've been doing the same thing since the start of the season. And I just keep working, keep working, and when I got my opportunity, I just didn't really pass my life. Why do you think your roles kind of gotten bigger as the season's going on now? Uh, I'm not sure. All I do is just keep working, and as a team, we just keep working and developing, hoping moving forward, just keep um, elevating. How have you been able to make yourself into kind of the physical runner you've become? Uh, I think that's just natural. I'm just a natural, <laughs> just a natural, aggressive person. Do you guys have an official count of broken tackles, like in the running back room, or, or how much of a conversation is that? Uh, I don't know. We don't, I don't think that ever came up. Okay. I know in our room, we, we like, press and like talk about like how physical we want to be in that room we want to be the most physical group on the team and I know we take pride in it. So well, this is not a, it's not a criticism of the line it's just they were young how much more trust do you have in them now that, that the holes going to be there that you're not you know, maybe having to dance away from somebody in the backfield that it's going to be the holes going to be where it's supposed to be how much more trust do you have in those guys up front as they've gotten better? Uh, I say I say that that question really comes with practice. The more we practice, the more we practice, the um, better practice is, the more we practice and prepare is where like the trust and stuff comes at. What are your emotions whenever uh, a run is going to be behind Trey Smith and you know you're going to be running behind that guy? <laughs> mm -hmm. I feel like every play, my emotions, every play is just the same to me, whichever one, no matter who I'm running behind, because I feel like the whole time, the whole five, is playing with, like, supposed to be playing with physicality, regardless of whoever is playing. How much do you think your pass protection ability has <laughs> got you opportunities and kept you on the field more? The ability to, to be your, your pass pros as well. Uh, well, yeah, that too. I just, like, that's part of, like, me too. Like, I just have, like, naturally a physical person. So I feel like it has helped me a little bit with, like, playing more within, like, the pass protection and just being on the field.
I mean, you're looking on film, and uh, you know, Ty Chandler breaks off that 22-yard run. At the end of the play, you see Coach Pruitt sprinting down there, pump his arms, you know, kind of encouraging. But just how, how much does that kind of get you all excited for everything that's kind of going on and knowing you have a head coach who's kind of in the, you know, kind of in the trenches in a sense with you? It, it, it's exciting. It's, real, it's really exciting. It's good to see knowing that he likes to see us doing good and also that he's behind us and everything we're doing. What's, what's it been about the South Carolina games that have made – every single one for so many years such a close game. What is it about these two teams that makes a close game every time? I'm not sure. In terms of what, what do you remember about those games? I mean, they come down to the final play, I guess, every time, so every year since we've been here. I'm not even sure. <laughs> you know, so Jeremy was saying South Carolina might have the best defensive line you'll face this year. When you look at them on film, what catches your attention of their defense? Man, their D-line is real aggressive and real physical. And that's what I that's really like to me. Team Coach Pruitt has credited the running backs for the improved running game overall. W what about the decision making of you and the other running backs? Have you seen that that be a, a big part of the improvement of the run game, the decision making? Yes, I say that that's part of the, that's part of it too, like our vision and us being more patient, waiting for the holes, trusting the linemen, and just believing that they're going to create holes for us. How do y'all keep improving? You know, going into the stretch. <clears throat> Because last year, obviously, y'all didn't finish the season the way you wanted to. You don't, maybe you don't play any more big grand teams this year, but there's still some tough games there. I mean, what, what are your thoughts on how y'all how finish better than you did last year? Uh, I feel, I feel I'll say we, we have developed and improved every week so far. And I feel like from now on till the end of the season, we just got to keep our head down, keep grinding, and keep moving forward. Jamie, you're right. explain to the young guys that it's not like it's going to get easier now. Because, I mean, I guess maybe if you're a freshman, you think, hey, you know, we just played Georgia and Alabama, you know, now, now it's easier down the stretch. How do you explain to the young guys that it, it doesn't get easier? I think the young guys know. I think they already know that this is like, they, they came to play ball in the SEC, that like, nothing's really easy. So, they're going to, they came in, they came in, they know it's going to be a fight. So. Jimmy, you're answering a question that way. We see the 1K tattoo right there. Is that football related? Uh, or is uh, that different? It's life related. Okay. Just keeping this bay basically means just like keeping keeping everything real with yourself. Thank you.